In this next section, we're going to talk about cleaning. There's several ways to clean and seam. We can clean the real raw scan point. We can clean the scan point cloud, and we can also clean project point cloud. There's advantages and disadvantages to each. Typically, we want to leave the raw scan points alone, leaving us with the next step of cleaning scan point clouds. Scan point clouds are what is visible here. These scan point clouds have been created from the raw scan. We know that a project point cloud has not been created when we we see the word create here. If a project point cloud has been created, then we'll see update or delete. The advantage to cleaning scan point clouds is that when you create a project point cloud, everything will be clean and ready to finalize. If you clean the project point cloud and have to update or recreate it, all of the data from the scan point clouds will be brought forward, meaning you'll have to clean again. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It is all user preference. You just have to decide how you want to proceed and which cloud you want to clean. I personally like cleaning the scan point clouds. I can always recreate those with the raw scans if needed. One way to clean scan point cloud is to use the clipping boxes. Preferably only have one clipping box. Right click on the clipping box and choose active clipping boxes. You may either delete invisible points visible points or you can do some other work with the clipping box. I'm going to choose delete invisible points. I don't want to keep anything outside of the clipping box. When I delete invisible points it's deleted everything outside this clipping box. Now I want to clean up some of the peripheral. For example there's a body someone standing over in this area. I want to get rid of that person create an auto clipping box here. I will change the clipping box height exterior and I'll disable the first clipping box. Now I want to adjust this clipping box so that it contains only the points that I wish to discard. What I'm going to use here is the select polygon. I'll click here and I'll select an area and now the points inside this are yellow. I'll right click. I need to turn the visibility of my clipping box off. Now I can right click and choose selection, delete points. And those points are gone. This temporary clipping box I have, I'll delete it. And now the information where that person was standing has now been deleted. So I've got a couple more here that I'm going to delete as well. So I'll add another temporary clipping box. I'll adjust the clipping box size until I'm hiding everything except the points I want to delete. I'll turn off the visibility, click on select polygon, right click and delete points. Now I'll delete this clipping box, 